Hello, this is John Piper with a weekend video and it's Saturday the 8th of August. Um, it's not a Bitcoin this morning. Um, we've seen the five waves up, discussed that quite extensively. Um, looks like an ABC developing. We've got the sharp A wave, um, quite an extended B wave, but a clear ABC pattern here. I mean, there's an ABC, A, B, C there, a B, and then a five part C. That's pretty clear. Um, so that calls for moving under 10,300 where C will equal A. Can't rule out a break below 10,000, but I would think this trend line, the major trend line I've been talking about, uh, linking up the major peaks, uh, will is going to hold. I'd be surprised if that breaks. I, I would expect 10.3 will actually hold as well. Um, I think what could happen though is that we might just go shooting shooting up at any point. So you know, I'm on the guard against that. Um, this move here looks a bit corrective so far, so I think probably a bit more to come. Um, but so that's my prognosis on, on Bitcoin. Um, the rally that, I mean, within a few days now, we should see this rally, and I, I would think we're going to test 20,000 probably. Maybe, maybe that's slightly optimistic, but uh, we come from 3,000. Um, so I think, uh, you know, we've already seen almost almost four times, not quite four times. Um, so, you know, two times for this move is, is not uh, not unexpected. So let's go on to the next, uh, next issue. Ditto on uh, Ethereum. You know, sharp A wave decline, corrected looking B wave. Now we're sort of trending downwards. I mean, obviously, there's a spike, buying spike there. It's, um, it hasn't really achieved a huge amount, but so I'm looking for a move. Um, I mean, roughly equivalent to the uh, the low here at uh, 300, but I think a little bit of a break below that. And around 280, I think, is where um, C would equal A. Um, so that's another. Uh, and confirmation at the moment but again as I say we could see some surprises obviously that's always the case. Well, looking at gold um, so we had two or three here so we're now in a third wave and we're in the third of a third of a third I think so we had five waves up to here um, that's one of three or three two of three or three this thing here is three or three or three I think so that's why we're seeing such dynamic action um, so we've got the one ABC two could be complete the three of the three of three uh, you're taking it above 2000 we do a setback coming in now as wave four but i think once wave four's over we've got another fifth wave to come um easy to be another 200 points or so i mean it, it could it, it's these kind of manic moves and obviously with gold there's plenty of justification for this kind of move with the money printing going on um which is becoming uh, a little bit manic in view of this uh, coronavirus issue um, whether it's a scamdemic or a pandemic, whatever it might, might be, it seems to be no worse than the flu, as I've been saying since the beginning, really. But uh, people, of course, disagree with that. I mean, obviously, people are dying, and that's never a good thing. But then people die from the normal flu, and uh, all the figures I'm seeing suggest that this is just a normal flu that the governments, for whatever reason, are blowing out of all proportion. Um, but I mean, I guess it is difficult because you've got the news media scaring, scaring everybody to death. Um, when you get fear coming into the equation, then the logic goes out the window. Um, and people just react on instinct. Uh, I think, which is, I think, part of the which is part of the plan. I think. Anyway, I won't uh, go on too much. I don't upset anybody. Um, anyway, um, as I say, I think we can see a fourth wave at the moment. Uh, take us back below two thousand probably, and then I think we're going to see another another leg up on gold. Uh, similar pattern on silver. We've got the one here, two, uh, one two three abc four and then this fifth wave uh, and now i think we can wave force coming in before we see another fifth wave which could be the end of this particular move i'm not sure it won't be, i don't think it'll be the end of the actual bull market but i think it'll be the end of this particular phase perhaps um obviously 30 dollars was the uh, stumbling block as far as silver is concerned um yeah so again i think the pressure metal has got plenty of legs i think but there may be there will, well there is a um, bit of a setback coming in at the moment I've uh, just finished on silver and gold. Uh, I have mainly left my stock holdings, ETF holdings, etc. in place. Um, I have taken marginal profits on, on some aspects, but um, you know, I think there's, there's more to come, so I'm not in any great rush to bail out of those at the moment. Um, looking at the DAX, we seem to have an ABC decline here, which changes A, B, and C. Five waves up here, so that suggests that we may be about to go have a, have a continued uptrend. And the action actually is pretty positive. I mean, we, we've We've fallen back, but it's very, very much contained, and we're edging higher again. So I rather suspect that uh, we're going to see a positive week next week. That certainly seems to be indications. Clearly, any break below twelve and a half thousand, yeah, twelve and a half thousand, 
um, on next week would, would change that scenario, especially if we've got to get, get a sharp decline. But currently we've got five ways up, followed by a very correct looking formation here. Um, so that, that suggests to me that we've got uh, more upside to come. Uh, that goes to FTSE also. We've got this initial sell-off five-way form down off the coronavirus bounce uh, rally. Um, we then got Saturn A and B. Now a similar looking, well, a similar C wave in terms of length, different pattern though. It looks like an ABC rather than a five. Normally the C is a five and the A is a ABC, but uh, haven't got that. This also looks like a five, one, two, three, four, five. Um, again, we're not really making much, well, this is going sideways, um, but overall, I think this, a, this big ABC suggests that we're going up from here, um, even though the short-term action is, is less clear uh, than on the DAX. A very different pattern on the Dow. We've got five ways up of the um, crash low, as it were. Um, we then got five ways down, um, just we're going to reverse, but so we didn't do so. And it's really just, I mean, okay, it's, it's trending up, I think up in, in the shorter term. And this move here, we've got, that's a one, quite, quite where the correction ends, I'm not quite sure. Uh, maybe it ends around here, I suppose. But then that's an ABC, which is confusing. Um, so maybe some kind of triangle thing, which ends about here. And now we seem to be going up in it with a fairly impulsive move. So again, I think, although on, on the Dow, it looks like we actually do a correction. So we've got different different sort of signals. But overall, I think I'm positive. Well, no, I am positive. I'm not, I don't think I'm positive. I'm <laughs> positive on, on balance on the, on the three equity markets we'll have a look at. Although we will have a look at uh, the NASDAQ now. Finally, on the Dow, um, I mean, this could be a one, I suppose. It could be some kind of, some kind of triangle. I mean, certainly we've got quite a few um, documentation actually on the two there. Um, one, two, three, four, five, almost. Um, so it could be an A, uh, a rather large B, maybe a C, and then a D break, I suppose. Um, I mean, that, that that may be the sort of m most useful count on that particular market. Uh, anyway, I haven't had a bit of NASDAQ. And then it's like a shot to new highs. I mean, the previous high was around just below 10,000. And now we're up at uh, 11,250 thereabouts. I guess there was a clear logic there. I mean, the, the, what's happened is that the, the real world, if you like, shops, like the people going to shops, that kind of thing has been clobbered by the virus. Um, whereas online stuff um, has, has a bit of has a huge advantage now. So I guess that does make some sense. Uh, not a market I look at very often, but certainly. Uh, from a stock holding point of view. I've never really actually bought many main tech stocks, I guess. Uh, so I've been concentrating on gold and silver and such like, and obviously they've done very well. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe I should have been looking at more tech stocks along the way. Um, that's all for today. Hope you found this interesting useful. Back to the report on uh, Tuesday morning for subscribers. Um, hope you found it interesting and useful. Uh, have a great weekend. Bye for now.